Welcome back to Rust Sound Community Theater. I'm Brad Page, and this is Joe Dion. And on this episode, we're going to take a quick look at using the lock screen on the XTS7. Now, you might be using this in maybe a commercial environment or just some situation where you don't necessarily want everyone to have access to what's on the touchscreen. And you can limit that by using the lock screen. And there are a couple of options there. We're going to take a look at that. So, Joe, show us some of the things we can do with right. the lock screen. All right. So in the first time setup, uh, we did already set a lock screen code. Uh, very important to remember that code. Yeah, this is very important. Whatever you set for your code, make sure you write it down or... or uh, store that somewhere safely because you cannot change it. You, you, you can't, once it's locked, unless you know that code, you can't get back in. You're going to have to send it back to Rust Sound. And you don't want to do that. Right. So definitely make sure you remember the pin that you're going to set or ask your customer what they want it and make sure it's somewhere where you can refer right. back to in case somebody does forget. Right. If you learn nothing else from this video, right. remember to uh, keep track of, of the your pin. lock code, yeah. the pin. Yep. Yep. All right, so let's take a look at how we first set a pin. So we already did that earlier, right. which is why it was up. So if we want to get to that, right, we're going to go to security. All right. So screen lock here in security, right? Mm-hmm. So here we can make our changes. Right. So that's the pin that we had set previously. Exactly. Um, now we can set a new pin. This would, if you were doing it for the first time, it would be very similar to this. Right. So now we're setting a screen lock. Mm -hmm. And that's just simply choose what you want. I'm just going to do something very simple. Next, enter it again. And I'll say it again. Do not forget. To keep track of your Correct. Because once the screen locks, you must have that pin. Right. And yeah, you don't want to have to take it off the wall and send it back into Rust Sound just for that. Exactly. So let's say you're in, let's say in, in my house, I'm like, well, you know, I don't really want a screen lock on this. As a matter of fact, you may not even want to have the screen go out. You might want to just leave the screen active all the time. Right. So you can do that too. All right, so first thing we do is we're going to enter our lock pin. And we can choose none. All right, so it says, do you want to remove device protection? In this case, we do. So now essentially we reset it. It's now open. Anyone can walk up to the screen and uh, click away. Exactly. Which you may or may not want to do. Right. So with display, you can set it so you don't have any screen timeout, right? You can set the time here if I wanted to time out in you know a few seconds, a minute, or just never then that screen will just stay right up and you don't have to worry about the screen timing out on you and waking it up right. or going through a lock. You can just mm -hmm. have it like this all the time if you want that. Mm -hmm. um, by default, it's set for one minute. And that's to save for, that's for, to save for eventual burning because, uh, you know, after a long period of time, you know, you could have this thing sitting like this for a year. It's probably going to burn in the screen eventually. Right, if it's set. To be on all the time. Yeah. So we do recommend, at least if you're not going to lock it out, to, to protect your screen. So we can go back to display and set the screen timeout and go back to the default to one minute. And then we'll shut down. But it won't lock. So you have other options besides just putting in a pin, right? So let's take a look at some of those. All right, so let's go back into settings and security and screen lock. 
And this time we're going to do a pattern. Right. And you have other options there besides, right? You have a word, you have the pin. Uh, yeah. And you have, uh, in this case, the pattern. Right. And I'm just going to do a really simple pattern here. So a little L-shaped pattern yep. there. And hit next. It's going to want to do it again. That's it. And then you have some options here. If you want the notifications to show up still on the screen, you know, if you don't want other people to see your notifications, you can shut that off. Okay. All right. And then when the screen locks, we'll. Yeah, let's let that time out and see how that uh, pattern works. Yeah, we set it for 15 seconds. So it'll lock pretty quickly. Put our pattern in. Oh, yeah, there it is. And that's that's so pattern that, long. Yeah. yeah, so you got a couple of options there, uh, but it makes it very easy to lock the screen and keep folks out. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that you are locking the whole device, but you can't lock specific apps, right? It's all or nothing. Right. So that's another thing to keep in mind. But that is the lock screen. Thanks for watching.